Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the DC Multiverse from McFarlane Toys, Mongol. This is supposedly the Superman villains version. Uh, though maybe you guys can enlighten me because I'm not familiar with this look. I'm familiar with the one I'm showing you on the screen, which I think this is just some alternate version of. Has this ever actually appeared in the comics? This one with the purple pants and the green gauntlets? I don't think I've ever seen it. And I couldn't find any images of it, so you guys can let me know about that. Uh, but we're going to do a question of the day right away. Which look for Mongol is your favorite? I have two which I think I would pick. One is the thing that I think this is trying to be. And then the other one is the one that's actually on the box is I think a really good look for him. I've always liked that look. I mean, as long as it's been around. So that's my take. You guys can let me know. I do like the DCSH or DCUC version also. Okay, so this figure is big and relatively basic and kind of good and kind of bad. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Uh, this guy stands just about 25 and a half centimeters. That's going to make him pretty close to, we'll just call it 10 and an eighth inches. It's right around there. Here he is up again. Oh, let's just do it this way. Here he is up against Darwin. Don't want any shenanigans going on. So he is, let's say, eh, about 1.7 Darwins. 1.6, right around there, pretty close. And he's a big guy, that's pretty cool. If you like big figures, these are like officially called mega figures, I think, then you will be pleased with this. All right, we already did a question of the day, so let's just dive into the aesthetic. A lot of bare plastic. The pants are very plasticky. The knees don't match the legs very well. This is hard plastic, this is softer plastic. That's why it's not horribly noticeable, but it is noticeable. Uh, again, very plasticky for the blue. I This color here, for the skin tone, I know he's kind of yellowish, but I think it's too yellowish. I don't think it looks right. There's something weird about it. I don't know, maybe it's the saturation, maybe it's the orangey. I don't know, there's something weird about it. I don't love it, but it's okay. I will say though, the sculpt is not good for his arms. They're really weird. Um, the way they curve out like that, it's definitely too much. I know arms tend to look that way because of the way this muscle is here and the way the forearm is shaped, but this is too much. And then this bicep just looks like a lump of potatoes kind of hanging. Then there's a shoulder lump in here that doesn't belong there. I don't know, it's just weird, 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 weird sculpting. So don't love that. He also can't put his arms down, so that's an aesthetic problem. The painted parts are pretty cool. I actually thought this blue thing was a separate tube in some places, but it's not, it's just painted on there. And the silver that is painted is very nice. It's very shiny, so I do like that. Detail work that is sculpted up here is nice, but it's not like the most detailed version of Mongol and so it doesn't translate as well as a figure and then they didn't do a great job. His gauntlets, I don't think they're supposed to even look like this. So I don't know, I, can't, I don't even know how to review it, but it is two shades of green so it looks kind of good I guess. But then we have this thing here which is supposed to be glowing and it's just green with a white dot. It needs to be hit with some airbrush to make that look like it's actually glowing. Some white airbrush right in the center would look great. His head sculpt I'll say, it's a little squatty and weird looking for me but it also is really well done for what it is. I think that looks really, really nice. I like that a whole bunch. So uh, I'm a little bit torn. It could be a lot better, I think, but it's not bad. Uh, again, for the price point, it's pretty reasonable, I guess. There are some definite things I don't like, though, like the, the arms. I hate the arm sculpts so much, so much. I'm gonna give it an overall rating of seven for the aesthetic. There's good stuff, there's bad stuff. Generally proportioned well enough, but so many weird things with the arm sculpt that I just don't know what's going on. It's weird. It's so weird looking. If you know human anatomy, this right here looks weird. It almost looks like the bicep is flexing, but it's not. And this one's not doing it at all. I don't know. Very strange. Okay, as far as accessories go, I have to show you this. We have the DC display stand, but for this guy, the DC logo is not where it belongs at all. And mine is just scuffed to oblivion. It is horrible looking. It's not black, really. It's kind of gray. It's not glossy. It looks horrible. I have to turn it for the light to hit it for you guys to see, but with the naked eye, I can see it all the time. It looks bad. And then we get the trading card, which doesn't match. It's not really a trading card. It's just a collector card, really. It doesn't match, just like the box doesn't match. It's a totally different design for the character. So, you know, that's weird. Zero out of 10 for accessories. All right, let's talk about articulation. Will this guy pose well? Eh, his head doesn't really look back at all. It looks down just a touch and then it rotates just a touch because of the collar and it does lean a little bit because it's on a ball peg but you're not really getting much out of it like almost none 
It'll be just enough to put him in the classic hero pose, but that's kind of it. For the shoulders, there's technically still a ball peg in there, even though it doesn't really serve much purpose, but they get up to horizontal, that's fine, that's good. They don't go down straight, that's a problem. Part of that problem is the curve of the arm. Full rotation's fine, no bicep swivel. <sighs> no bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow, which doesn't even give you 90 degrees and looks horrible. It looks really, really bad when you use it. Um, you can rotate the arm there and get a little bit more out of the elbow, but then it just looks even worse. It's so lumpy and disjointed and weird. Those elbows are pretty much trash. Not good. The wrists have a swivel and a hinge, but if you look at the wrist, the sculpt of the hand is already part of the wrist joint and it looks ridiculous. Stop doing that. You need the hand to be leaned forward some in order to hide that. This side's not as bad because the hand's outstretched, but the way they do their joints is just not good. You always end up with chunks of plastic in the palm. Very, very lazy. It's like they sculpt it and then they just cut the joint and leave it. They don't go back and touch it up to actually work properly or look good. Very lazy. Torso articulation is just this ball peg down here, which actually works pretty well. No real complaints there, it's fine. Diaper could be a little bit tighter, I guess, but That'll work. If you're gonna only do one joint and it's gonna be down there, that's about what you would expect. There's no real problem. I would have liked to see one up here more, but that's okay. Uh, no real sculpt for his diaper, by the way. We could do a cake rating right now. We haven't done a cake rating in a while. His cakes are all right. He's got a little bit going on. It's nothing special. I wouldn't write home about it, but I'll give him a good five. That's fine. They're not bad. Going out to the side, the diaper is too low. You could trim that up if you wanted to to get better splits, but they do go pretty far as they are. Uh, joints could be a little bit tighter for sure. Huh, they used white plastic for some reason, it looks like, and then they painted them purple. Which is odd. If they're gonna paint this purple and it's not molded plastic, then they should have painted it to match the color that they aren't painting, rather than not match. Very strange. Thigh swivel doesn't really exist. Double jointed knees. Good range, proportioning is a little bit weird, but it's not too bad. Knee joint design is not great because you get all these weird crevasses all around the knee because the way they have like it, the, the shin and the thigh overlap the knee rather than the knee going on top. So that's a little bit weird, but not huge deal. Then the ankles are on ball hinges that have a little bit of range going back, a little bit of range going forward and an ankle rocker that's pretty steep. It's not great. It doesn't have enough range to really be a problem for him. He stands pretty well, but it's still a fairly heavily ratcheted ankle, which isn't ideal. So articulation on this guy pretty much blows, other than the waist. So five out of 10 for articulation is not good. Like I said, super basic hero pose, and that'll be that. But the sculpt is definitely still weird for the arms, and it's not a design I'm familiar with at least. So this is a very strange release for me. I'm gonna give it an overall rating of if this is not an accurate interpretation. If there is someone out there who can show me that this is actually a look that they are familiar with, then fine. If that's the case, I'll go up to seven. Uh, but I do believe this is just a McFarlane interpretation on a design that already exists, but it is not one that I've seen before. So again, I don't know. So I'm gonna go six or seven, depending on on how, how that plays out. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.